Hey guys, I'm Vijay Nagarajan, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to code a animal guessing game test your knowledge quiz. And we're using Python today, and I, I'm going to teach you how to import stuff. But if you don't know any Python, you won't understand what I'm going to be doing. So you're going to need to know if statements, prints, else statements, and variables i might explain some of the other parts i might explain some things too but i've got my, some of my code ready and i'm going to explain what what i'm going to be doing so so far you we said this import random that is the most important piece of code so you, how do you do for import random? Random, type in import, type in import random. This import random gives you the ability to pick a random thing. So now we so for, we pick import random, okay? Now I'm gonna explain to you the logic what this game is. So this game is usually played with around think three or four people and it's basically another name for this is think of an animal basically you start off so person a will think of an animal and you and then and then the other three people will ask questions and you and through those questions and ask questions ask questions ask questions and he will answer them for example like if let's say let's say some let's say person a thinks of um thinks of shark so then what happens is person b might ask water or land so the person a would answer uh water so this you ask questions but you can't ask questions like what is the animal so you have to ask the questions that would make it like like what group is it that's pretty much the logic, and I'm gonna explain you what we're gonna be cut. The computer is gonna think of an animal, give a hint, and the person is gonna try to guess. Like I said before, we're gonna be using Python. So we imported the random, which means we have the ability to make to make a random. Then we create an animal variable, so animal equals. Then we create a thing, an array, and then basically put quotations, animal, comma, and then keep putting animals. I put duck, swan, tiger, cheetah, German shepherd, shark, human, spider monkey, gecko. Then we put the thing. Then we put thing. So animal is basically our choice. So I might change animal to choice. I'm going to change animal to choice. So, animal, we're going to change the name to choice. We're going to change the name for animal to choice. Because it's a, these are the choices that the computer is going to think of. Then we have think. Think Think is another variable. So, think, what I call to think is because the computer is going to be thinking of the animal using this piece of code. So, the the array is set, but how is the computer going to access and pick one of them through the array? Since we imported the random, we can do choice, then brackets. Random dot randit parentheses zero comma len, which stands for length, choice, because that's our variable that's our array of our variable of up here, minus one. We close this parentheses brackets. Oh, let me re-explain it in a better way. We take the choice. Then we put the brackets inside the brackets. Random dot randit parentheses. We put in the parentheses. We put this stuff, and then we close it, and then we close the brackets. So it's parentheses, and for the length choice, the choice is also in its in the choice in the length choice it's in its own parentheses. But the only thing in that parentheses is choice. Then we create our if statement, so the computer can think. But now, how how is it gonna? How is a person gonna guess? So we create a bunch of if statements. I'll explain one, and all the rest you're gonna do is copy and change. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by copy and change after. 
So we create if think because think. So this think might be equal to swan. It might be equal to human. It might be equal to spider monkey. It might be equal to gecko. It could be equal to any of those options. So if think is equal to duck, which is this one, print, and in the print you put in your hint. My hint for duck was this animal is a small bird that swims and lives in in or near ponds, lakes, and sometimes rivers. A good format of a good format, a good like how to do this. You type in this animal is, and then some and in, and in, in, in information. See, always, I always start with this animal. Then we so then we close the print statement. Then we create a variable. This variable is called i. So i is equal to input in parentheses quotations guess the animal. Over here you can see that the guess the animal. So input means you can input or type in something, and guess the animal is telling you what to do. I'm gonna so the if statement if I is equal to duck because I is input. The variable for input is I because I input is the first letter of input. So if I is equal to equals duck because in this statement we're saying if think equals duck, if I equals equals duck or I equals equals duck, which this one's just capitalized. Um, I'm just basically saying in if statements if you want to do equals you never do this. I don't think you always do the, if you're going to make a variable is equal to a string you always do. You're saying if a, if this variable is equal to this string, you always put double equals. But for a variable, you always put one equal when you're when you're defining a variable. Then we print. If you guess that if i is equal, equal to duck or i equal equals duck, else and you guess that and you type that in, it'll say you are correct because print you are correct. And if that is not true, we so we create the else statement. If that is not true, we print you are wrong. So this is pretty simple. Then we copy this this entire code, and we just change the animal and change the hint. And we also change the animal in here and change the animal here. So we just keep doing this over and over. The only the, the only thing we change is the animal names and the hint. So we copy this. Sorry, if we copy this, then 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 we print the hint. We change the hint. We then keep the i equals input. Then we go to, in our if statement where if i equal equals, we just change the animal right here. We keep doing this over and over and over until you complete every single animal. This is one of the easiest games to code. Not only this, if you want to do cars, all you have to do is change these. All you have to do is change the hint and the names and the cho and the choices. So you don't have to change a lot of code. You're just changing strings, basically. That's all you're changing. So this can work for anything. Python is a very easy language to learn. For a very easy language to code this. And that is why I use Python because it's very easy to code this. Now I'm gonna keep going till I complete my my complete everything. See, because you can't if the option isn't there. For example, you have to make sure you complete every every one out of your, every option out of your choices. If you if you don't do one, and it goes that option, there'll be nothing in. For example, if it's only equal to gecko, if it's only equal to gecko, it's not going to run. It's not running any code because we haven't done the code for gecko. It's just running nothing. It's just running nothing. It's not running anything. Really, but if we but when we complete all, all the options, all the pieces of code, then it will run something. So now I explain the code and the logic. 
Now we're go now. I'm I'm going to complete my game, and you should too. So I'm going to copy this this thing. Copying is a uh, Control C, Control V is. Is it helps saves coders a lot because we have to use a lot of code. So control C, control V helps people a lot. So this code, I have just have to change the the value. So I am going to continue this, and by just changing this. Okay, guys, see you later. Signing off, Vijay Nagarajan. Keep watching and keep coding. Bye.